Hello everyone, I'm Adia Sofer, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy. Uh, we have saved Lakeland, and now we have freed Elmeg from the Cursed Light. <laughs> so now we are moving on to the next area. Let's go. A party soon divided. Good morning to you, miss. I do hope you are well rested. The Exarch and your companions are presently gathered in the Ocular. He asks that you convene with them at your earliest convenience. Okay. To the Ocular! Away! Whee! <laughs> Look at me sprint. Look at me sprint. And I run out of sprint. That's okay. Let's go, Teddy Fox. We gotta go visit the Exarch. Exarch! Exarch! Crystal Gate. Keep, thank you. Yep, this place. Here. Well, this is tense. Oh, there you are. You're just in time to welcome our guest. Ah, uh, he's back, isn't he? <laughs> Please, did I not explicitly tell you that we would be meeting again soon? Lest you forget, I made you a promise. I have no intention of meddling with your mission. I come only to observe. And yet you come standing in the middle of the ocular. <laughs> your exarch friend in particular has piqued my curiosity. Summoning you all like that. Most impressive. Ah. Uh -huh. You honestly expect us to believe you've come only to observe, or that you might deign to lift a finger to aid our cause if called upon. Even if there were a sliver of truth in your words, I would never accept your help, not in my darkest hour, not after all the suffering your kind has wrought. So petty. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. Wage your war against the Sin Eaters. Put each and every Light Warden to the sword. Okay. Prove yourselves heroes, brave and true, and I will be glad to embrace you as allies. Allies worthy of bearing the burden of truth. Surely such a partnership would be preferable to yet another round of fisticuffs. And thus did the olive branch wither and die. Pity. Well, let no man say I did not try, futile as it was. Well, what, what do you expect after all the shit the Asians have pulled on it? Though I suspect you will seek me out when you grow tired of making the same mistakes. Difficult decisions lie ahead of you. Decisions best made with the benefit of knowledge to which only the Eternal are privy. For now, I shall resume my shadowy vigil. Whatever you choose to do, make sure it's worth watching, would you?
What was that all about? A vain attempt to make us doubt our chosen course, most like. As if we'd believe a word that passed his lips. Unless you think there is some truth in what he says. A colonel, perhaps. If he simply meant to lead us astray, he could have done so without revealing himself. At least, not in the manner he did. It goes without saying that an alliance with the Asians is out of the question. Mm -hmm. But since we have no way of knowing where they might be hiding, it seems only logical to press on with our mission, even if our enemy seems content for it to succeed. Then let us discuss the Sin Eaters. Yes, please. <clears throat> I would begin by thanking you all for your efforts thus far. We have freed two regions from the everlasting light. In striking down the Light Wardens of Lakeland and Ilmeg, you have accomplished more in your short time here than all of our forces managed in the last century. That may be, but the Wardens of Calusia, Armareng, and Raktika remain. Yep. Indeed. And their precise whereabouts are as yet unknown. Yep. Which is why I propose we divide our forces and conduct a systematic survey of each region. Once we have found our quarry, we may then determine how best to proceed. I'll take our in that case. I know the lie of the land well enough. If there are no objections, I will make for Calusia. I have connections there both in and around Yulmore that may prove useful. Then I would ask that you journey to Raktika. Can do. There you will find your Stola. With her assistance, I doubt the Warden will evade your grasp for long. Oh, probably not, no. Is Yushtola the conjurer you and Uriange used to talk about? That's right. Though we haven't spoken much since she left for the forest. I fear I may be to blame for that. I had every intention of relaying the news of your arrival, but she is... disinclined to speak with me. You have visited her, have you not? Might I trouble you to... Would be no trouble. My thanks. While you are all out in the field, I shall be here attending to business. I had somewhat fancifully contemplated joining the search myself, but other matters demand my attention. What's that? A missive from Lord Vorthry. He invites me to join him in Yulmore to discuss the recent conflict at Leda Loran. Of course he does. And? Did he even bother to offer any bait? It's obviously a trap. I should be surprised if it were not. Nevertheless, I must seize this opportunity to speak with him, even if only a few words are exchanged. Yep, 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 yep. Oh dear. Though my power will be much diminished so far from the tower, it is a risk I am willing to take. Master Alphino, might I impose upon you to accompany me to Yulmor prior to beginning your reconnaissance? Of course. Then let us make ready. Safe travels to you all. Before you leave, I would make a request of you. There is a church, or rather, the ruins of a church, at Fort Job. Might I ask that you go there before seeking out Yishtola? It was a place where people once gathered to worship the light. Alas, it has long since fallen into disuse. Yet within the, that hall remains a tablet whose writings I believe may prove of use to Yishtola. At the very least, such a relic would make a suitable gift for your reunion. A most considered proposal. Very very well. Ere we depart for Taraktika, we shall journey on to Fort Job and rest that we might secure this relic. Okay. I can just Yeah, I can just teleport there. Away Hmm. 
He admits these ruins, we will find the church of the first light, and within that hall, and within that hollowed hall, the tablet we seek. Midnight, leave Charlie alone! Come on. Time is of the essence, my friend. Let us be quick. At the height of Lakeland's prosperity, these sites served not as man's final bat bastion but as a testament to his ingenuity and architectural prowess. The Church of the First Light was responsible for many such marvels, building majestic chapels in every corner of the realm. Alas, with the flood and its inexorable tides, with its inexorable tides would drown nigh everyone, and all, and did all but put, put an end to the, the religion as a whole. For the creatures which then did rise from that Lugent Deluge were seen as agents of divine punishment, sent to devour sin and sinner both. Whence came the name of Sin Eater. The people were lost, seemingly forsaken by their god. Yet there is light, there hath ever been sh Yet where there is light ha there hath ever been shade, and twas in the dark they saw solace. The most devout of these worshippers of the of shadow did then migrate to Raktika Greatwood. But that is a tale for another time. For now, let us let us find what remaineth of the chapel here. Alright, down we go. This is indeed the church we seek. It's surprisingly intact. What little is left of the churches I've seen until now has always borne the scars of decades of disuse. Its subterranean construction hath done much to protect the whole from the ravages of time, yet the reason for its remarkable preservation may be deduced from its decoration. As faith in the light did wane, so rose reverence for the dark. And its followers did want for places of worship, to be plain the standards which do adorn these these walls belong not belong not to those who built them, but to the worshippers of the dark, the knights blessed. Who subsequently migrated to Raktika, yes? Indeed, twas beneath the shaded boughs of Raktika Greatwood that they finally found sanctuary. Oft and many times did Yomor make sp sporacious overtures of friendship unto them, but they are no, f no fools. The Exarch knoweth full well that Yashtola, in her seclusion, oop, oh dear. Ah, oops, hold on. The Exarch knoweth full well that Yashtola, in her seclusion, doth labor to learn all, sh all she may of the blessed and their past. Tis why he sent us there, I see now. The tablet which he spoke, no doubt, provided the glimpse into the history that, sh that sh she so yearneth to comprehend. Well then, we better hurry up and find it. Oh, I can I can look at them. What? Thank you. What are you doing? Can you tell? Can anyone tell me where this <laughs> no? What this infernal tally looks like? I can actually look at them. That's interesting. All right, he's looking at some boxes. What are you doing, Ariage? Were the tablet a fragment of holy scripture, it would most assuredly rest here on this altar. Yet, yet this would, I presume, also have been where the blessed placed the font of seeing used for the pra in the practice of their faith. Whither then would they have set the tablet? What about you, Ren? What are you, Minfibia, rather, what are you doing? What are you doing for me? I can barely see my hand in front of my face. If only that torch were a little closer. Alright. Um, there it is. 
I have found the time worn tablet. Within the altar, thou sayest. Not escape it thine eye, twould see. This is indeed the tablet we seek. Curious. These engravings predate the, the knights blessed. If I if I am not mistaken, they are written script of the ancient empire of Lanka, whose capital once stood in the midst of what is now Roktika. Twould be no small matter to decipher them. Hmm, a fine gift for our seeker of truth, whose plain the exile understand the Ishtola all only too well. But come, let us quit this place and make ready for our journey into the woods. Yay! Level up! Ere we depart, there is a custom of the Knights Blessed which I feel compelled to elucidate. As one might expect, they deem light to be abhorrent and everything it touches befouled. Thus do they take the utmost pains to protect all they can from its taint, including their very names. To speak plain, it is belief of the bless of the blessed that one's own name must never be uttered in the light of, of the everlasting day. It is commandment pre precludeth not the use of another's. Thus do parents protect their children, and in rare cases, masters their, dis their disciples. So, so it is that Ishtola hath. So it is that Ishtola has taken the name of Master Matoya. Lest we offend them, I bid you seek not her true name in the Blessed Presence. With that in mind, let us speak with the guide who keepeth vigil at the Great Woods border. And of course, I will come back to deal with the side quests here later. Where am I going? Over here. I believe I can fly. Well met, Shaveler. What business brings you here? Yes, of course, right this way. My cat has decided he needs a lap. No matter how far he goes, man cannot resist looking back on the path he has walked. The untold stories and secrets of the past can be more alluring than the promise of tomorrow. And so he braves the forests of Raktika in search of mystery and wonder. Of Ronka, to which all seekers of hidden truths are inevitably drawn. We have arrived. Yeah. Fast though these woods may be, they are, by and large, uninhabitable. Not so the swamps of Sidia, however, whose sparse foliage permitted man a foothold. No lands must remain beyond our grasp. Go forth, conquer, rule. Forgive me. A sudden pang of nostalgia for those halcyon days. Exploring virgin territories, subjugating primitive peoples, all for the glory of Garlemald. If you've brought your ivory standard, I'll be happy to tell you where to stick it. <laughs> Can we not simply take a moment to enjoy the view together? Or would you rather I spied on you from the shadows? <sighs> Much more of this, and I may very well begin to regret my show of good faith. If you really want to stay, then help us fight. Mm, no. 
I think not. I am an observer, nothing more. Even shielded by the shadows of these boughs, I feel the light's presence most keenly. To accompany you is taxing enough. To fight is out of the question. I will suffer your company if I must, but not your commentary. Displaying our Hassian counterpart means to follow wheresoever we leave, for otherwise he would not suffer the overabundance of light in these woods. Verily, it pervadeth every corner, and so long as the light warden remaineth, the Sin Eater shall be free to prey upon these lands without surcease. If not is done, tis but a matter of time before the blessed succumb. Two years past, a swarm of Sin Eaters did lay waste unto their largest se settlement, killing a great many of their priests in doing so. Th Though some few did survive, they knew not how to go on, wayward souls in want of a guiding hand. For our mercy, Yustula hath provided that which they sorely needed. They have, sin they have since endeavored to restore their home, and thither shall we bend our, bend our steps to Fort Gong. I forgot he couldn't fly. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doos. is destroyed. Look at this place. I see little sign of recent activity, nor hath any meaningful progress been made with the reconstruction. Mayhap Yashtola sought shelter elsewhere. Come, let us quit this place. Mm -hmm. Sinators, they're not like the others. There's a reason for that. Lower your weapons, please. We mean you no harm. How is it they can speak? It's a Sin Eater trick. They mean to kill us all. Uh, Koopa? That will seem a lot less amusing when we are forced to kill them. <laughs> oh, for the love of... I had hoped that by accompanying you we might come to understand one another. But all I have come to understand is that you have a knack for inflaming the natives. You've committed the cardinal sin of boring me. And so I retire to the shade. Good luck. God damn it, Emmett. There! Did you see that one disappear? Uh, I think I preferred La Habrea. <laughs> Enough. Runar, report. 
Master Matoya. Gishtala! We apprehended them as you ordered, but are you certain these are sin eaters? The intense light of the ether I saw was unmistakable. If not sin eaters, then what? It is passing queer that Yishtola should mistake us for the enemy, is it not? Mayhap it have been too long since last she beheld the radiance of thine ether. Master Matoya, hath time truly made strangers of us? Nay, I recognize you, Urianger, Thancred. And this is Minfilia of the First, of whom you spoke before. Just so. And knowing as thou must that we come in peace, might I prevail upon thee to have thy comrades lower their arms? Yes, please. First explain this other presence in your company, the one I know not. There is but one manner of creature in this world whose ether is suffused with such an abundance of light. Mine apologies, Master Matoya, but thou art mistaken. Before thee standeth our dearest comrade, the truest hero among us. Though she is but recently arrived here in the first, not one but two Light Wardens have already perished by her most puissant hand. It, it cannot be. You truly thought me a Sin Eater? Master Matoya? Lower your weapons. Forgive us this hostile welcome. Come. I would give you a proper introduction to Raktika and its people. busy since arriving in the first, I gather. But I would hear the tale of your travails in more suitable surroundings. With work gone yet to be rebuilt, the Knights Blessed have made their home in a settlement to the northeast. I will await you at its entrance. Follow the path through yonder gates and you will follow me soon and you will find me soon enough. There you are. I was beginning to worry. Much like the Twelves would, this forest has has a way of dealing with those who stray too far from the beaten path. But I digress. Let me show you the home of the Knights Blessed. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this. Thank you. Anyway.
Thitherbow is the largest of the blessed settlements. They worship no gods, instead revering darkness itself. It is a curious kind of faith, but one which has granted them the strength to persevere in the wake of the flood. Yeah, I can see that. I hope you weren't expecting a grand feast by way of welcome. They are simple people. <laughs> now, I would hear of your travels away from prying ears. Come. Where are we going? you seek the Light Warden of Rektika. That is correct. In the days after I arrived in the first, I too relied upon the Crystal Exarch for guidance. But his penchant for secrecy and the telling of half-truths soon lost him my trust. And thus did I strike out on my own. My work eventually led me here to the forest, which I have come to know like the back of my hand. I cannot say with certainty where your quarry is hiding, but I am confident I can narrow the search. Well, go on then. Some few thousand years ago, this forest stood at the heart of the Empire of Ronka. A great many relics of that civilization can still be found to the east in Ixmaya. Mm -hmm. Or rather, could be found, were the area not fiercely guarded. Ixmaya, you see, is home to a tribe of warriors whose lineage is said to date back to the time of the Empire. Any attempt to enter their territory is met with lethal force. They offer no warnings and suffer no trespasser to escape. Needless to say, my every attempt to survey the area has been thwarted. Mayhap the Warden hideth there, full knowing none may approach it for fear of these protectors. As for the tablet... I find the timing of its discovery suspiciously convenient. If I did not know better, I would think someone was trying to curry favor with me. <laughs> Regardless, it will take time to decipher these writings. Yep. Yet I would not be at all surprised if they somehow held the key to entering Ixmaya unmolested. The Exarch has a nose for serendipity. If there is aught I can do to assist thee in unraveling their secrets, thou needst only ask. Thank you, Uriange. I may well take you up on that offer. While we set to work, might I suggest you take a tour of the city? Okay, off the left then. Should you be in any doubt as to the importance of your role as the warrior of darkness, the people here will surely cure you of it. I must say, Ishtola, while most of us have struggled to come to terms with our altered circumstances, you seem to have adapted rather well. Lest you forget, Master Matoya and I dedicated our lives to uncovering the truth which hides at the heart of our world. Though separate, the fate of this reflection is nevertheless bound to that of our home. That I would be daunted by such an invaluable opportunity is absurd. <laughs> but what of you, Thancred? 
Could it be that you are still struggling to come to terms with the nature of your young companion? Ooh. My struggles are none of your concern. Quite why you would speak thus and in this company, I do not know. Perhaps you left more of yourself back in the source than I assumed. If you'll excuse me. That was a low blow, you still left. That was a low blow. He understands that I'm not the same. That I'm not her. Understands, perhaps, but does not accept. The question being whether he ever will. And whether you will, more importantly. As difficult as your circumstances may be, they are yours, not his. Tis you and you alone who bears ultimate responsibility for your life. But you need not make any hard choices now. Why not go and get some fresh air? Clear your head. Oh, poor Minfibia. Poor little Minfibia. Mini Vidia. I am not indifferent to Thancred's troubles. Nevertheless, I will not apologize for holding him to a higher standard after all these years. He has ever been a man of considerable resolve, and that is what I will continue to expect. Though it heart heartens me to know that some of us remain ourselves in spite of our present circumstances. But I can imagine how Alize and Alphenom have changed since arriving here in the first. Change is part of life. We can but hope it's a change for the better. Ah, you're right. And after my untoward remarks to Thancred, no doubt he thinks I changed for the worst. I will have to speak with him later. Ahem. Returning to the matter at hand, I really must begin work on deciphering this tablet. In the meantime, perhaps you should take a look with about Slitherbow. If there is anything you need, pray speak with Runar at the plaza. Where's Runar? There he is! There's the good boy! Welcome, Fred. Welcome. My apologies for our less than hospitable greeting earlier. Tell me, what is your name? From where do you hail? From the Crystarium, I see. And this tablet you brought may help us find the Light Warden here in Raktika. Well, you're welcome to stay with us for as long as you need. Come, let me show you around. Would it be alright if I joined you? Of course, of course. Anything for the guests of our dear Master Matoya. Thank you. She means a great deal to the Knights Blessed, doesn't she? If not for her, we may have all perished in the great fire. In the great fire, with our priests slain, our home in ruins, we were at the mercy of the sin eaters. It was she who drove them back, and with her sage guidance, we were able to rebuild. Before long, she became a central figure here in our community. A great oak within those, sh within whose shadow, many have come to find solace. But that is not to say we there are not but that is not to say there are not those hesitant to grant an outsider such authority, myself included. Perhaps it was the smile in her eyes when she speaks of the sunless sea. I feel whole again now that she is with us, and I have no doubt the others feel the same. She is mu as much a part of the nice blessed as any of us, and we are grateful for all she does in service to the dark. But you did not hear this from me, yes? Now, you should know there are certain customs we ask guests to adhere to so long as they reside within Slitherbow. To show reference to the dark? In a word, yes, but fear not, it is not too involved. Let us begin with something simple. Follow me. Alright, I 
will do that, Runar, but first let me get this Amaro Keep real quick. Amaro Keep. I never use these, but I still get them anyway. Alright, over here. Should you see any of our people come to this chamber, they have likely returned from a journey beyond the borders of Rakatika. We use the water sword here to cleanse ourselves of the light's impurity. A simple and perhaps peculiar custom, but it is one of our most important. Would you two kneel for just a moment that I might rid you of the light's impurity? Okay. As Lunar, as Rudar lightly sprays you with water, your skin begins to tingle. And with that, you have been cleansed with the light's blighted touch. How do you feel? I'm not sure, to be honest. Not refreshed exactly, but I do feel different. Has this water been treated in some way? Only blessed by our priests. They are practiced in the arcane arts. As such, it is said their it is said their prayers imbue the water with the faint dark energy. A prickling sensation? No one's ever spoken of such a reaction before. I wouldn't say it was an unpleasant sensation, but I too felt something strange. Hmm. Dark aspect, the dark aspect of this water should have no discernible effect, unless... By the gods, Masamatori was right. You are Sin Eaters! I jest, I jest. What you felt was likely no more than the chill of the water. Perhaps that would be a good time for you to acquaint yourselves with the people of Slutherbo. For that, I must teach you a customary greeting. Alen tuta. In the language of Ronka, it is one of several ways one might say good evening. The world is not as safe as it once was, and this greeting lets us quickly discern friend from foe. Is there a handshake or gesture we should know too? I would hate to offend anyone. You need not worry. Merely speak the words Alin Tuta and they will know you as friends of the blessed. I will await your return here. Now go. They they are like to be heartened by your knowledge of our ways. smiles warmly. Come, tiny fox. We must go greet more people. Ah, uh, you. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, Ellen Tuta. Ah, newly come traveler. Ellen Chissi, and welcome to Slitherbow. You must forgive us if we seem strangely, strangely reserved. We are a quiet, taciturn people. Silent and serene as the sun must see, the quiet makes it easy to discern the presence of sin eaters and other dangers here in the woods. Interesting. Alright, where is the last person? What door? What door? The one I'm heading to. 
this door. Yes. Bless, hello, Alain Zuta. Alain Chissi, welcome, friend. I take it you will remain in these woods for some time, yes? Be wary of these woods. You will find poison in near everything you see. But fear not, our medicinal tea will keep you healthy. Ask it and it is yours. If near everything in these woods are poisonous, how are you? Hmm. Curious. Everyone was so kind and gracious. I was nervous at first, but I'm already starting to feel at home. There is still much I have to learn about the Knights Blessed, but their faith but their faith and strength of will is nothing short of inspiring. I can see now how they felt such a thriving community. Boop. Ah, you're returned. Very good. No doubt you're glad they were glad of your company. It has been too long since we have had visitors. Remember, if you have any questions or th there is anything you need, do not hesitate to ask. Speaking of which, we must arrange food and lodgings for you for your stay. As friend in Master Matoya, we cannot ask for payment, but if you would be willing to lend a hand, it would be my pleasure. We are fortunate indeed to play to play host to such a to such generous souls. The task I have in mind is simple enough. All I ask is that you take a jug of water and take a jug and water the crops in the square. May I help too? Of course. One of you can do the filling and the other the, the watering. Speak with Ersabel when you have finished. She will be relieved to hear the crops have been tended to. While you take care of that, I will see see to your room and, and a warm meal. Right then, I'll fill you water. This was the only jug I could find which was small enough to lift, but I'm afraid there's a crack in the bottom. You'll need to hurry to the garden before all the water leaks out. Here we are. You have watered half the pot. Fetch the another jug of water to take care of the rest. All right, back to Minfilia. Let's go. Uh, I did half the crop. I need another. Was there enough water for the pot? Only half? I see. Well, let me refill the jug for you. Thank you. Bye-bye. has now been thoroughly watered. Well, my travelers, I observed you earlier speaking with the others. Have you need of something? You watered the crops? Oh, my apologies for not noticing sooner. I have been rather distracted of late. Watering the crops was always Tadia's duty, but she she is no longer with us. We have since taken to sharing the duty, though never with guests. You are most kind. Is there anything else we can do? We could plant something if you'd like. There is no need. 
The plot is small, it is true, but it provides us with enough to survive. We ask for no more. I do not know how you manage. Have the blast not considered leaving? Life would surely be life would surely be easier almost anywhere else. I can understand why you might say that, but the easy, but the easiest path is not always the right one. Tell me, do you know our history? How our faith came to be? I er uh, Yes, I believe I, I believe so. The Knights Blessed was initially formed by those who, who lost their homes in the wake of the Flood. What began as an occasional gathering of survivors eventually grew into a community, which ultimately decided to strike out on its own to, in the Rock Teagle Greatwood. I see you have read your history. But there is a history that is told and one that is lived. Like so many in those times, the first of the Knights Blessed lost everything. Their homes, their loved ones, all they held dear. To make matters worse, none could say what became of the souls that, none could say what became of the souls lost to the flood, when their bodies were reborn in city as sin eaters. The people with, were without answers, without hope, their gods having drowned along with everything else. It seemed that nothing was beyond the reach of the light. But they soon realized that where there is light, there must be darkness. And in that truth, they found new faith, a belief that the souls of the departed could yet find peace beyond these burning skies, in the sunless sea above. That is why we pray, for the safe passage of wayward souls unto that blessed black abyss, for the return of the night, that we might someday look upon the kingdom of heaven with our own eyes. We remain in these woods for the selfsame reason our founders first chose them, that we may lead lives of simplicity with the shade of the trees as a constant reminder of our faith. With so many seeking paradise in Yilmore, it's refreshing to find people who val value a humbler existence. You are kind to say so. Many consider our way of life foolish, and so it must seem to those who yet cling to their worldly possessions. In times such as these, when everything can be taken away in an instant, it is all too easy to lose sight of why we why we fight to go on living. It is not to hold fast to the to material things, but to hold those who went before us in our hearts, to keep alive the legacy they have left us. This we must do for them, our children, and generations yet un yet unborn. to keep their legacy alive. Tending to the crops already. Very good. It should not be long before your room is ready. Runar. In the woods. Sin ears. I fear they may have the touch. Where? In the grove to the, to the southwest. For a mercy, they've yet to wander any closer to, to Slitherbo. Then we meet. Then we have no need to engage. Inform the guard that no one is, is to set foot outside the village until they have moved on. But sir. What of Tadia's hearthstone? It must be retrieved before the service. Of all the times for sinners to appear. Are you just going to leave them alone? 
Under normal circumstances, we would not hesitate in striking the beast down. But, they, but if they indeed have a touch, I will not risk them corrupting one of our own. What was that you said about a stone? In a few days past, Tadia, a child of the Knights Blessed, was slain by the Sin Eaters. We succeeded in retrieving her body, but in our haste, we failed to notice her necklace was gone. It was strung with a pendant of jade, a heart stone. All the Knights Blessed are given such a stone at birth. It is the most valuable possession one can own. It is custom to present the heart stone of the deceased at the funeral as an offering to the heavens, but now... What if... What if I could find it for you? I have experience fighting Sin Eaters, and the light's corruption does not touch me like it does others. Master Matoyal called you Minfilia, did she not? Are you truly THE Minfilia? De descended from the Oracle. Even so, I do not ask you to risk your life for the blessed. I understand how you feel, but I, st I can't stand by knowing that your people are in need of her need and I can help. Please, let me do this. Very well. But if it but if the danger proves too great, we must retreat. I could never forgive myself if we were forced to hold a second service. <gasps> I nearly forgot about Thancred! What if he returns before I do? Don't worry, I'll come with you. Thank you. With you at my side, I'm certain we can deal with them in no time at all. Go swiftly, and may the shadows keep you both. Okay, where is- is this the exit? Uh, yep, this is the exit. Alright, Minifilia, let's go! Let's go, 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 go! Hmm. Okay, there she is. Doo -doo -doo. There, the Sin Eaters. Oh, yep, that's one with the touch. Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. I was hoping there would only be one. There's no way we can search for the stone without dealing with them first. Perhaps we should split them up. Good idea. I'll draw one away while you handle the other. Go, Minifilia! You can do it! Alright, that one's mine. Anyway. This one is mine.
Ophelia, you did it! Are you okay? Are you okay? Gahara! Uh, uh, there you are. It's done. Though I fare was but careless, I'll do better next time, I promise. You okay? I'm... I'm fine. You needn't worry, worry about me. More importantly, we have to find that hearthstone. They said it was made of jade, right? I'll search over there in that bush. In that brush. In the brush. She's searching in the brush, not the bush. Come on, where are you? No, seriously, where are you? Maybe over here? I already searched that area. There must be something. There's obviously something I'm missing, but I don't know where it is. Sparkles? Where are you, Sparkles? Where are you? Why are there broken pots everywhere? It's probably just the fate, isn't it? Blind? Where, where, where is the thingy I'm supposed to be looking for? They check that sparkle. I check that sparkle. Where are you? I hate that so much. That's that's so dumb. 
I don't care, Beetle. Leave me alone. Did you have any luck? It's beautiful. This has to be it. You know, thank you always said you were a woman of many talents, and I'm be and I'm beginning to think I and I'm and I think I'm beginning to understand what he meant. I have much to learn if I'm e even to be half the hero you are. The hero she was. Oh, I'm sorry, forget I said anything. We should hurry back to Slither Bow. Runa and the others are probably worried. I'm not walking back. I'm teleporting back through this. That took me way too long to find. It should not have taken me that long to find. Thank goodness you are safe. I had begun to fear the worst. By all that is dark, you found it! We can proceed with your service as planned. Those blessed gems can serve not only to protect us in life, but to guide our spirits onto the sunless sea and the hereafter. Even should we be felled by the Sin Eaters, so long as these gems are recovered, our souls are ensured peace in the dark. Oh, that's interesting. Words fail to express my gratitude for this kindness you have done for the blessed. I must insist that I must insist you and your friends attend Tadia's service as honored guests. There is so much we must do to prepare, so, but please go and inform the others that will be held in the dark room. When you arrive, there should be an attendant prison to explain the proceedings. Gaharo and I learned so much about the Knights Blessed while you were away. And we helped them recover a lost heirloom out in the woods. I don't- I know I wasn't supposed to leave, but they really needed our help. They're a Sin Eater's end. As so long as she accompanied you, but do try to be more careful. Your injuries could have been a lot worse. H how did you- Let's just say a little bird told me, and it's telling me now that Kaharu has business with us. Hi. Is something the matter? They've asked us to attend the service. Of course we'll go. It's being held in the darker, isn't it? We'll take care not to be late, I promise. Uh... Okay. Whoa. I never noticed the rocks had the, uh, these moon patterns on them before. The elderly woman hands you a candle. She then points over at a nearby corner where you might place it. Let's see what the ceremony is about. It seemed only right that we show our faces. May we join you? Let us begin.
I thank you all for coming to pay respects to our fallen daughter of the night. In the light, she was known as Todia, but in the dark, we shall remember her always as Menin. Let us each take a moment to offer her our prayers. We entrust her now to the night's sweet embrace. In darkness will she be free from pain and suffering, now and forevermore. May her soul find peace in the sunless sea of heaven, and in the love we bear for her in our hearts. vessel represents the night sky, the sunless sea of heaven. Now, O oh bringer of shadow, to lead this gentle soul onto the sea. We call upon you, O oh warrior of darkness, to deliver her onto paradise everlasting. I am told you assisted in the preparations for the service. On behalf of the Blessed, you have my sincerest thanks. Yeah, no problem. The enduring legend of the Warrior of Darkness owes much to the traditions of these people. And none were more ardent in their faith than Todia. She would have been greatly moved by your presence. I would, I should like to have met her. You might not deliver her to the heavens, but if you could deliver the night sky to her people, the real night sky, it would be the next best thing. Their prayers would finally be answered, they could gaze up at the firmament and see their ancestors in every twinkle of the stars. We cannot allow their hopes and dreams to drown in the light. We have to bring back the dark. If we don't, who will? Forgive me, thinking of all those we have lost. I... No, it's all right. We will bring back the dark. Mayhaps sooner than later, in fact. Really? Orionje and I have finished deciphering the tablet and its contents were most illuminating. Let us reconvene in my chambers. We have much to discuss. Where'd you find Castilla? Where'd you find?
How'd you find you, Stella? Good, you're here. Thanks to the Exarch's gift, our next course of action is now clear. Let me begin by first explaining the origins of this tablet. I initially believed it might detail the history of the Church of the First Light, much to my surprise it dates back to the end of the Roman Empire, and was lightly written under the direction of the reigning ruler. It was a time of strife and unceasing war with the neighboring nations. With each passing day, they yielded more and more territory to their enemies. In their desperation, petitions for aid were sent out to their allies. This was one such petition. And do you think this ancient petition will somehow help us get into y Yizhmeja? Indeed we do. For etched into this tablet is a method by which one may pr prove himself an ally of Ronka. Provided we are able to decipher such instructions, we may entreat the ruins protectors to grant us to grant us safe passage. The problem, however, is I presently lack the resources to decipher them in their entirety. We have but one recourse. There exists a stone monument inscribed within ancient Ronkin text and translations in a more modern dialect, which came into use after the fall of the Empire. I am confident it will suit our purposes. Where can we find this monument? Here, in Siti in Sit Sitia, quite so close to Suibau, in fact. The good news ends there, however, for it is in the possession of a rather radical faction of dark wor worshippers, the children of the everlasting dark. If I am to study the monument, I must infiltrate their encampment. I have no intention of, take of taking longer than absolutely necessary, but I will nevertheless require some require time to transcribe the text I need. To ensure that I have enough, I am afraid I must ask you and Thanker to assist me. And before you even ask, the answer is no. If we don't, if we're to remain unseen, our group must be as small as possible. Alright, I'll stay here until you return. We won't be long. If anything should happen, you keep her safe. And let us convene outside, to the west of Slitherbow, where the path di diverges. The encampment we seek is to the north, but it would be foolish to simply rush in. A guard has been posted at Cleric, at Cleric to keep watch over the children. Perhaps he has ought to share their recent activity. But we must tread carefully. There is a chance we may encounter them along the way. Stay close and stay alert. I would avoid a confrontation if possible. They rejoice in dealing death to others, claiming that in doing so, they cleanse the victims of sin and usher them onto the sunless sea. I would rather not sully my hands defending myself against such madmen. Yeah, that, that does sound kind of crazy. Now I got the other attacking me. That's just rude. <gasps> Eat the current. 
If you think you can escape me, Ethan Currents, you are so sorely mistaken. You can never escape me. Like, thank you very much. Especially when you're killing innocent people. I got you. By the blessed dark. Thank goodness you are you are unharmed. We sh we would have arrived sooner, but we too had a rather unwelcome visit from the children. You are an acquaintance of Master Matoria, then. My apologies. The children have been acting strange of late, so I thought to take a closer look. I was careless. Strange? What have you seen? At first, there seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. The usual gatherings, the usual gathering of ingredients or poisons from flora and fauna. But then I took notice of their venomous spiders. They've been breeding them in much greater numbers. It's as if they're preparing for something. Any ideas as to what? It could be anything, really. If it meant to end the blessed, nothing would be nothing would be too cruel or violent for them. But perhaps we can use the present preoccupation with spiders to our advantage. If we were to introduce a threat to the nests where they keep them, the children would be compelled to save them. Bees, for example, are a natural predator of spiders. Set them loose on the nests and we would have our opportunity to sneak into their encampment. What a mischievous plan. I like it. With a bit of smoke, we should be able to subdue a few colonies long enough to secure their hives. Have you anything we might be able to use? We should have smoke bombs at that outpost just over there. Then it's settled. Grab a few smoke bombs from the outpost and search for, about for beehives. I imagine the bees won't take too kindly to your visit, but once they're knocked out, the beehives... Take the beehives and bring them back here. Two will suffice, I should think. Simple enough. Let's go. Alright, let's get some beehives. Beehives! I don't care, Flamingo. Sure, piss off. I'm taking this. Off, I said. I need these soap bombs. Go away. No one cares. You're just being a nuisance. Go away. There we go. Take this, thank you. And 
ignoring the wild swine again. Over here. Where is it? Whee! Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Behave! Alex Milk Bomb! Find my boxes in the tree. Okay. I'm not going to question why the fox is in the tree. <laughs> Run. The guard returned to Slitherbow, but not before offering his thanks. As for the beehives, Thanker and I were successful in acquiring what we need. How did you fare? Beehives! That, this is more than enough. The children are certain to be displeased. Let us hurry before the bees begin to stir. The children's settlement is to the west, a place they call Woven Oath. According to the guard, there is an airway apart from the entrance which leads to the spider's nest. If the fates are kind, the way will be clear. Yeah, I hardly, I hardly think that the way is going to be clear, but you know. Keep to that positive thinking, I guess. I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for any more. Uh, keep the car still. There's the airway. Do you see it? A bit far, perhaps, but we should be able to toss the bag through. Though we should probably loosen the ropes keeping it closed, enough that it falls open when it lands inside. May I do the honors? Go thank Red. to do it. Now we wait. What is that? Bees! By the abyss, they're everywhere! <laughs> help! Someone help! We have to save the spiders! It sounds like our plan is working. Still, it is quite likely not all were drawn away from the posts. If you should come to blows with the children, I'll see to it that any signs of the struggle are concealed. Failing that, I'll create a distraction to buy you still more time. Should anyone get past me, it falls to you to guard her. Your concern is appreciated, but I sincerely doubt it will come to that. Why do I get the feeling you enjoy the idea of me loafing about bored in the shadows? <laughs> come now, Thancred. The shadows are a fitting place for a warrior of darkness. Now, if you both are ready. <laughs> All right, let's head in. Oop. 
That is not the entrance. Ah, oh, here it is, over here. Oh, I was gonna say I don't want to deal with them, but I can't switch classes now. Oh, hello, Bat. How are you? Okay, goodbye, Bat. Goodbye. Water. Almost there. Keep to the side. Wow, that guy is blind. <laughs> The font of seeing suggests this chamber. The font of seeing suggests this is a chamber for prayer. At the very least, they would not let this place. They would not. They would not this. At the very least, they would not place this near potential distractions from their worship. Perhaps the monument is further in. Yeah, here we are. Yes, this is it. I will be by a moment. Keep watch of the entryway. On second thought, would you mind examining the murals on these walls while I, while I look over this? At a glance, I can tell they are old, predating the founding of the blessed and the children, in fact. We'll not like to come to will not like to come here a second time. It would behoove us to learn all that we can. Appears to be ancient. A warrior is in the middle. A warrior in the middle stands triumphant over what appears to be a creature of shadow. Other figures surround the warrior, rejoicing in their faith in their victory. Okay, that's interesting. The mural appears to be very old. A ruler sits atop a throne, attended by his subjects. The mural appears to be fairly old. A knight shields himself and their comrades from encroaching encro encro darkness. The central figure is considerably faded. Paintings. They seem familiar. Depictions of heroes throughout history. The Age of Gods, the Empire of Ronka, and this. There was a man, a researcher who poured over these pieces. He offered us work when we needed it. Slaying beasts, delivering provisions. A funny old bugger he was. But he had a good heart. Ooh. He believed this first painting dated back to a time of myth and legends. A tribute to the heroes of a long forgotten era. The story went that it was rediscovered by an explorer from Ronka, who was so struck by its majesty that a second painting was commissioned commemorating the heroes of their day. One day you will all be here too, he said. Heroes immortalized forever. Maybe I'll paint you myself? I had a good laugh at that. We were only trying to make our way after all. Being heroes couldn't have been further from our minds. But it's 
seems. He actually went and did it. Before or after the flood, I wonder. Oh, rather faded, isn't it? Compared to the others. Or did someone try to scrape it off the wall? Well, maybe the man himself once he came to his senses. Do you suppose your deeds will warrant an addition to this collection? Or some other kind of monument? There you are. I have everything I need. Let us quit this place. And he's gone. Is something the matter? We should go. The others are waiting. Did the murals appear to be of any significance? Depictions of heroes from the Age of Gods, the Roman Empire, and immediately before the Flood. Various student observations. Perhaps in another lifetime you could have been a, a curator of antiquities. Though it, is, it has no bearing on the task at hand, perhaps that knowledge may prove of use in the future. Let us hurry to Slytherbow. The others are waiting. After we've returned, the two of you should rest a while. No doubt Runar will be eager to have you sample his cooking. As soon as I discover anything of import, you will be the first to know. Alright, let's, let's just tell us that. Because that will ultimately be easier. I return. Kaharu, the guard told me you left with Master Matorial to woven oath. And no sooner do you return than she locks herself away in her chambers without so much as a word. She knows how I worry when she leaves without telling me. Ugh, but she is safe and that is all that matters. You must be hungry after such a journey. Why not have a seat there by the fire? The stew will be ready soon. Oh, what fire? Where? Where am I going? Oh, over here. Okay. Whoop. Strange. What, Runar? The others on patrol should have returned by now. Our food will be overcooked if we wait any longer. We will just have to start without them. Would you call Master Matoya and the others? Sure. these games, Orianger. Why do you pretend you cannot see it? The blessing may spare her the fate of becoming a Light Warden. But you cannot be blind to the nascent corruption. She is not as she was in the Source. Though I have no proof, 
I fear that the light which poured forth from the Wardens was not negated at all. I fear it was absorbed, that she has been suffused with their light. Though I have given thought to this possibility, I dare not speak until more is known. <sighs> By the time you deign to enlighten us, it may be too late, if it is not already. Orianger, I know full well, after all these years, that you have only the best of intentions. But that does not make it any easier to put my faith in a man so infatuated with secrecy. I have had my suspicions ever since the Exarch bade you speak that day. But now I must ask. The Eighth Umbral Calamity and all that followed, Everything you claim to have seen. Did you? Help! Someone help! Uh oh. The Omorans are come for us! We're under attack! Really? Meanwhile, in Yomor. Three. How good it is to see you. How long has it been? Not since your inauguration, unless I mistake. Too long, at any rate. May I say how humbled I am to be invited not only into your city, but your home. You are as generous as ever. And you as disingenuous. Let us dispense with the pleasantries. This merry band of dissidents people are calling Warriors of Darkness, they have slain Sin Eaters. Yep. And by all accounts, the Crystarium is complicit in their villainy. Yep. And now I hear reports of your people obstructing my soldiers. So I must ask, what exactly do you think you are doing? I might ask you the same thing. It should be clear, even to you, that defeating the Light Wardens represents the world's only hope of survival. Even now, the people of Lakeland and Ilmeg rejoice in the return of night. Yeah, they do. For a hundred years, they yearned for a means to fight back against the Sin Eaters, and at last they have found one. Yet you choose to stand idly by and do nothing. Why? Why? Because this hope you cling to is nothing more than a fever dream, an exercise in futility. Really? Even should you slay the Sin Eaters, the world as we know it is beyond salvation. Is it really? With what little land and resources remain, the people would be free only to starve. Before long, they would turn to violence, then to war, and ultimately usher themselves unto oblivion. They require a firm hand to shepherd them from the edge. The hand of a king. Nay, a god. Okay. I will see their dreams fulfilled, their wishes granted. I will give them peace, order, and they shall never want for bliss. Men are fickle creatures who entertain vague ideals without the faintest notion what they cost. But a little fear 
can go a long way towards helping them realize what it is they truly need. Really? Can it now, all three? Sanctuary. And they shall find none in this world save that which I afford them. That is why the Sin Eaters exist. To unite the world under my dominion. You're a crazy, crazy man, aren't you? A paradise fit to grace the Eighth Umbral Era. What was that? A minor epiphany, nothing more. You have always held sway over those around you. Those who defy you must submit or die. What sits before me is the inevitable result of bloated privilege and unchecked power. But man is more resilient than you think. That is very true. You tell him that's art. His achievements are not the product of violence and bloodshed, but compassion and understanding. This calamity is but another crisis to be overcome. And we will, once we eliminate the Sin Eaters. You poor deluded fool. These people care not for the morrow. They care only for the now. And the contentment they lack. What good is a paradise to them if it is a thousand years in the making? Or even a hundred? You underestimate them, Lord 4-3. They see further than you think. I have beheld it in the blood and sweat and tears of those who would sacrifice everything for a future they may never know that their children may never know i have beheld it in the hopes and dreams of those who came before which we bequeath to those who come after that they might in turn build upon the foundations laid by our forebears these are the bonds which hold man and his world together not your gilded chains and i will resist your every effort to shackle him attaboy in summary, you will continue to support the villains hunting my Sin Eaters? Yes! With tremendous enthusiasm, for I have faith in the future they would build. Oh, why do I even bother? Fools, a lot of you! So naive! So painfully predictable! Did you imagine I did not know your mind? That I would wait until after this meeting to dispatch my forces? Even as we speak, they march to the Sin Eater's defense. Insurrection will not be tolerated. The people of this world are mine to rule, mine to command. And you are no exception! <laughs> How did he? Insolent swine! I will not stand for this! Do you hear me? Speak for the night's blessed. I do. I presume that is your doing. If you'll come to Pale, I must insist that you first return him to us. You're in no position to make demands. My Lord Vorthry's decree 
Raktika now falls under the governance of Yulmor. You will henceforth answer to us. Is that so? And the children of the Everlasting Dark have acquiesced to this madness. We have reached an accord, yes. Too many times have the Knights Blessed shunned Yulmor's overtures of friendship. The risk that you harbor hostile intentions has grown too great to ignore. <sighs> Therefore, his lordship has claimed dominion over this forest and bestowed executive authority upon the children of the Everlasting Dark. Of course he has. In his wisdom, Lord Vorthry has agreed to recognize ours as the only permissible expression of dark worship. It's one true faith. You and your false creed are a blight on these woods. A foul, unholy corruption that must be cleansed. Little wonder the warrior of darkness visits both Lakeland and Ilmeg, yet shuns Raktika. Your perverted teachings hold blessed shadow at bay. You have accepted the yoke of Yulmore to spite us, then. Fools. Darkness will never return to these skies while they hold sway. Those of you minded to obey his lordship are to make for woven oath with all haste. We will leave you, but you may have time to prepare. Woven oath? Are you suggesting we abandon our fate to join those salads? What has your faith afforded you thus far? Nothing! We will guide you along the righteous path. Uh, okay, dude. And should we refuse? Anyone found here upon our return will be considered a traitor to you more, and dealt with as such. We will discuss these developments after I have tended to our casualty. The god hath been afflicted with the most terrible and officious poison. We have attempted all manner of healing incantations. Alas, his condition remains unchanged. At present, we can but slow the poison's advance. I pray will afford us sufficient time to find a cure. How fair at the young guard. The poison spread throughout his system long before he was brought here. At present, there is naught we can do but try to ease his, pa his pain. Do not blame yourselves, my friends. All that can be done has been done. Even had we reached him sooner, it would have made little difference. The children employ countless poisons. Finding a suitable antidote is a nigh-impossible task. What of the rest of the Blessed? How have they taken the news of Yomor's gen generous proposition? With anger and dismay, we cannot hope to oppose both them and the children. 
I considered a convocation of all the knights blessed that we might consider the ultimatum, but I know how they will answer. Master Matoya, I am truly sorry. We cannot, we will not, cannot abandon our faith. But there is no reason for you to suffer for our decision. The work is not yet done, and you still have time to flee. Flee. I am not wont to run away from my troubles. In fact, with Kaharu's arrival, I am minded to take the offensive. The Omoran's presence here plainly stems from a desire to protect the Light Warden. I say we seek it out and slay and slay the creature before they return. Were darkness to fall over Raktika, they would have no cause to remain. All of which is rather easier said than done. Unless, of course, you finally decipher that tablet. I have, as a matter of fact. And with it, we can repair everything we need to end a Yishmaja. What say you all? We will need to act quickly, but I believe it can be done. We cannot deny our fate, but not but one course can but one course lieth before us. For the knights blessed Good. I have I leave the blessed in your capable hands, Ronar. Very well. I see there is no changing your mind. By all that is dark, I swear to keep the blessed safe. According to the tablet, we will first need to obtain a seal used to identify the allies of Ronka in times past. One such shield seal should be waiting for us in a complex underwater ruin. In a complex underwater ruins not far from here. You have some experience with subquatic excursions, do you not? That I do. Then this should prove a simple task for you. The ruins we seek are at the bottom of Lake Tusi Mikta. While you say to that, Minfilia and I will remain here to help shore up Slitherbow's defenses. Your aid will be greatly appreciated. Got our task, let's get going. Let's go. There you are. Ready for a swim? This seal we seek should be stored in a chamber somewhat inside the ruins underneath beneath the lake. However, the entrance is seemingly protected by a subtle locking mechanism rooted in the symbolism of Ronkin culture. The Ronkins sought to live in harmony with nature and considered certain animals to be sacred. Foremost in their pantheon was the snake, portrayed as the protector of the wood, the arbiter of life and death. Below, below it were four, four, four others. Each equal in rank. The curl, the col the colibri, the opal opal, and the wolf, characterized as the bringers of liberty, words, enlightenment, har and harmony, respectively. To open the chamber containing the seal, the tablet states one must pay due, due difference to three of these beasts by placing one's palm on monuments wrought in their image, and that this must be done in a spe specific sequence. My interpretation is correct, the order can be discerned from the three commandments which follows. Give praise unto the snake, by its strength do our lands prosper. Be as the Opo Opo, rival thy kin. As all parts seek betterment, so too does the whole. 
Be as the wolf, move as one. Peace comes to all who seek harmony with their kin. The tablet says not of the placement, size, or appearance of the monuments, alas. Hopefully all will become clear when you reach the bon bottom of the lake. Go safely. Okay, so first is Snake, the Opo Opo, then Wolf. Got it. Yep. No, let me die. Die. There we go. Of a snake. They see my palm on snake. You sense something stir elsewhere in the lake. I believe there is an opening. Yep, there it is. Ha and the last one is the wolf. Wolf, there you are. I found you. This <laughs> boy sent something to elsewhere in the lake. Perhaps if the chamber containing the seal, containing the seal, is broken. Ooh, 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 sightseeing log. Sightseeing log. Beautiful. Okay, where am I going? Uh, do I have to go down again? Yep, there's, there's the entrance. Whee! What? Give me this thing. A door opens to reveal a pedestal upon which rests a medallion. You take it and secure it inside your clothing. Alright. Let's go back to the Stola. Thank you, Stola. Did you find it? I found this thingy. This medallion. It bears the owl insignia of the Empire. There can be no doubt. This is the seal of Ramka. Well done, Kaharu. We can begin our preparations to enter Yishmija in earnest. Yay! Unlock the other half of the map, please! Bearing the seal, it should be possible to enter Yishmija unmolested by its guardians. I will go ahead to Slitherbow and inform the others. When you have recovered from your excursions, meet us in the cavern leading east out of the village. <laughs> no, Yishtola. That, that's her name. That's how you pronounce her name. Yishtola. You're here. Runar opened the gate for us but moments ago. Beyond lies Yishmija, I presume and presumably the light the light warden. It did not take long for the worst protectors to find me when I when last I came here, and I expect them to fall upon us just as quickly this time. Though we carry the seal, that is no reason for us to let our, down our guard. Now, let us seek out the warden and put an end to its reign over these woods. And 
we can now access the second half of the map of the Rocktaker Great Woods. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna do an incantation. <laughs> yeah, some of these names can be a bit weird. Just follow the path of blue flowers. Reach the destination. <laughs> Rude. It would seem we have found them. Indeed. You trespass upon sacred ground. Be gone! We mean you no harm. Sister, is that? We are allies of the Empire of Ronka. As is customary, we come bearing the seal of the Emperor. Perhaps. We acknowledge your seal, but we must be certain of its authenticity. Follow the Azure Flowers to our village. There we will judge if you are friend or foe. Try not to stray from the path. All right? <laughs> Follow the flowers. Would it kill them to escort us? <laughs> but if it affords us an opportunity to investigate Ixmaya, fine. <laughs> so salty, Shola. My God. <laughs> yep, we just follow the flowers. We just. Follow the flowers. This is literally their, their pathway. Go straight. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that we may confirm its authenticity. Straight to the point, I see. Very well. Hmm, there's no mistaking the crest of the royal family. It is of proper size, and by its weight, it is plain it was made from gold. The seal is indeed genuine.
For 300 years we have waited for this moment, and now you are finally here. I bid you welcome, allies of Ronka. I am Elmet, the chiefess of Fano. Yumet, her youngest sister. Simet, a pleasure. We were beginning to lose hope that you would come. I beg your pardon? These are troubled times for my people. Though I can but imagine what has compelled you to venture into our woods. You must be tired after your journey. Come, take your ease. If you'd like, I, sh I'll sh I will show you about the village. Though I must warn you, it is a long way down to the forest floor, so do watch your step. Come, and be sure to watch your step. Yeah, uh, in case you haven't noticed, they kind of built their village in a giant tree over an abyss. <laughs> so, you know, best to not fall down. As bearers of the seal, you have a right to know what became of the Empire, and my people's purpose here. We are descendants of the palace guard which served under the last Emperor, and to this day we carry on the duty of our forebears, the final decree of his, e of his eminence before Ronka's fall. By the wisdom of our people was Ronka made to thrive. Such knowledge must never be forgotten, nor may be suffered to fall into the hands of the wicked. Keep it secret, keep it safe and look to the coming of our allies. Unto them we shall bequeath our all, and thus Ronka will live on. By his command, we have remained in the Rock Tika Greatwood, guardians of Ronka's ruins and the wisdom held within. I hope thou wilt not think the question impertinent, but did thy people's feigned longativity long perchance play a part in the Emperor's decision to entrust this mission unto thee and thine? That was one reason, yes. We Vs would naturally live uh, to see 300 of your elven lifetimes. We were also the fiercest fighters. There are none more fit than us to stand watch over the remains of Ronka. But our duty, but our duty has grown ever more perilous in the wake of the flood. Settlements such as this one were plenty were plentiful before the light claimed dominion over the land, but now Fano is all that remains. Our numbers dwindle year by year. Before long, there'll be no one left to honor the Emperor's wishes. And you believe we are allies for whom you, you are, we are the allies for whom you have waited. You have the seal, do you not? After three millennia of waiting, that alone is nothing short of a miracle. Truth be told, I have begun to think you would never come. Sister. We are glad of your presence here in the Greatwood. The wisdom of Ronka is yours to do what is yours should you wish it. You need only ask. Come in search of the Light Warden. My apologies, but I do not know where it makes its lair. You admit, do you recall any sightings of, the, of this creature? Hmm, not these past 30 summers. 30? But that would mean. How old are you exactly? Hmm. 
young enough to remember. <laughs> With age comes knowledge. There may yet be one among us who has seen or heard of the abomination you seek. We will have we we have leave to speak with the other V's then. But of course. Then we should split up and inquire individually. If someone knows something, I would hear it while there is yet time to act. Don't ask anyone their age, yeah. <laughs> So considering how long, um, well, they're called V's in the first, but considering how long Viera uh, are known to live for, it wouldn't surprise me if, like, a lot of them ended up forgetting just how old they were. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Okay, who am I talking to? Who, who am I talking to? I'm talking to you. You're the person I'm talking to. Okay. It was not my intention to pry, but your voices carry far. I know what it is you would ask of me. Unfortunately, the answer is no. I have not seen the Light Warden. I patrol the ruins perimeter regularly, and if it were hiding nearby, I would know about it. Okay, let's just pop down here real quick, because I need to get the etherite before I do anything and completely forget to get it and then I can't teleport back. The thing about Viera as well, while they kind of stay, they kind of look the same like for hundreds of years, I believe they can look for like about four 500 somewhere in that range they reach maturity at the age of 13 <laughs> so they reach maturity at 13 that's when they become adults like fully fledged adults and then they stay like that for like for for hundreds of years an outsider but but how by the gods allies of the empire my sincerest apologies for failing to note your arrival Yep, yeah, they spend a lot of time as adults. It was the warden you wished to know about, yes? My mother, may she rest in peace, told me once of its appearance in these woods. Before settling here in Fino, she lived in a village near Roktika Falls, until it was destroyed by the Sin Eaters. While out on patrol one day, she spotted a swarm of, of the abominations, one of which was different from the rest. <laughs> It was larger for one thing, but what struck her was the way its fellows seemed to revere it. She was convinced that what she had seen was the Light Warden. Yay! I learned a little bit. It's okay, the fox is fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> the fox is okay. Oh, Genstone Trader. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> the Light Warden? No, I have not seen it. But I have witnessed the horrors of the Lesser Eaters, how they are wont to hunt in packs and carry off their victims rather than consuming them on the spot. I suspect the Warden is, is a grotesque cor cor corpulent thing, waiting patiently for its minions to bring its next meal. Look, see, look, the fox is fine, see? It's just doing fox things. Look at it. It's, it's perfectly fine. Here. Here, I will feed the fox. There you go, I have fed the fox. <laughs> You're welcome. person I need to talk to is down here someplace. You. Hello. You search for the Light Warden. I cannot say I have ever laid eyes on it. Our duty is to, is to protect the ruins, nothing more. We have no need to strike out in search of, in search of such a foe. Well, one person seemed to, to know about where it, it makes its lair, at least. Uh, where's Almit? Up 
here. Hello, how are you? I pray the others were able to provide what I could not. Uh, here. Near Tika Falls? Why was I not told of this? I think I see now why he has never been spotted on our patrols. I have never heard of this Raktika Falls, but I, I can't but assume it lies deep within the words of Yishmija. Just so. But the tunnel which leads there collapsed after a rather bloody battle with the Eaters, and has not been passable for many years. We had made several attempts to clear away the rubble, yet each time we were driven back. In the end, we were forced to give it up as lost. Thereby making it a suitable place for the Warden to take sanctuary. There is perhaps one way to enter, though it would be at great peril to you and your companions. The Kanana Revel, a temple to the northeast. It has been sealed for centuries, but within is a, is a path that leads to the falls. Can it be opened? For the allies of Ronka, it can. First, we must go to Kimul Astropolis. Once the flow of magic is restored there, we, the path to the Quintana Reval can be opened. This may sound a simple task, but there are certain obstacles which prevent us from attending to it ourselves. And we know not how to overcome them. The Emperor never granted our forebear our forebears leave to look upon the secrets we, were we are charged with protecting. That we might not be tempted, the means to do so were, were withheld from us. But we can, we can but show you the way. The rest will be up to you. It would seem we have our work cut out for us. Then, shall we? Did you have to ask? Ishtola, this is the kind of thing I do on a daily basis as the warrior of light and darkness. <laughs> Let us be about it, then. If that is your wish, it is my duty to escort you. While we attend to matters in the Kumul Astropolis, I would ask that your sisters accompany Uriange and Thancred, and share with them all they can of these woods. While we have every intention of investigating Raktika Falls, tis yet possible the Light Warden Drell dwells elsewhere. With that in mind, it would behoove us to prepare an alternative course of action. You admit, submit. I leave them to you. Yes, sister. Should our present course prove false, I doubt not but that Thancred and I shall find any and all possible paths forward. What you seek lies in the heart of the Kamul Astropolis. Unfortunately, it too was sealed shut by order of his eminence. If we are to open it, we must first look to the morning stars. Come, I will show you the way. I, I gotta find the path there. Oh, there is no path here. <laughs> go this way, and then just go across here. Yep. Yep, this is my fire pony. It's fine. Nothing's gonna get caught on fire. It's fine. <laughs> You're able to keep up, I see. Well done. Ahead lie in the morning stars, four monuments built in tribute to the guardians of Raktika. Beyond them is the Great Pyramid of Unir, where the flow of magic must be restored. It is said that the monuments are themselves the keys to open the pyramid. Though I know not how, that is for you to discover. 
Another puzzle. Wonderful. I would have a closer look. Okay, let's see if we can avoid the enemies and get to each other. Uh, I know how to pronounce the ones that are most frequently um, said. <laughs> Basically. It is indeed another puzzle, but for a blessing, it appears to be similar to the one we encountered at the lake. These statues are all depictions of the, of the divine beast mentioned on the tablet. No doubt they will open the way in, into the pyramid in like manner. We have but to discern the correct order. Let's split up and search the area for clues. These ruins are covered in ancient inscriptions. The answer may well be hiding among them. Indeed, it may be best to transcribe them as if they are as numerous as you say. Better than risk overlooking something. Though transcription would prove impractical for you, not being versed in rock and script, no matter, you will employ a different approach. Impressions! Here, I had thought to use these clay tablets to record any significant imagery we discovered, but they will serve you just as well. Take impressions of any in inscriptions you find. We will start at the base of the pyramids. We begin at the top. When you have finished, return here and I will translate your findings. Yep, we gotta climb all four of these pyramids. Just hop, hop on up. Just like this. They couldn't have made the stairs any easier, apparently. For some reason, they could not have made the stairs any easier. Take an impression. We go so very slowly. I don't know why they didn't think to make the stairs any easier, but this is this is what we gotta deal with. Got an impression. Ow. Oh, oh dear. Where am I going? Ah! I can't see. you made good use of those clay tablets. Yes, I have. Here you go. Do what you will with them. Well done. A moment while I discover what you found. Apologies for the delay. Nothing we saw at the base of the pyramids give, gave any hint as to the solution of the puzzle. Focusing instead on how to proceed at having solved it. Your findings, on the other hand, appear to form a riddle. Once assembled, it reads as follows. Come together, share despair. Go thy ways, dread burdens bear. Mark the crown, heed its call. Avert thy gaze, forever fall. I had assumed the puzzle would involve 
as well as a sequence, but from what Almed and I were able, able to gather, it was but a matter of suffusing one of the statues with ether. Question being, which one? Have you any thoughts? Look at the statues. Because if I remember correctly, it's the one that's facing where the thingy is. So the owl statue, I believe. Yeah, because these, these, those two are facing each other. That's facing one way. That's facing this way. And these two are just apparently not talking to each other. <laughs> So I believe it is the owl statue. Given your talent for finding solutions to vexatious problems, I think it's best that you choose a statue. What's say, Haru? Yes, give you still my thoughts. Right then, after you have selected a statue, I will imbue it with the required ether. Should it prove to be a trap, I am more than capable of warding off any malign magics it may contain. Now, which statue will it be? The owl statue. All right, I pray this works. Yay, I remembered right. The ether has been absorbed. You really do have a talent for these things. The way should be clear now. Come, let us. Someone approaches. Sister. Sister. Cement? What are you doing here? What has happened? You mourn soldiers. We have entered Yishmina. You mourn soldiers? And what of the blessed? Nothing specific, but it seems the Yomorans had little interest in Slitherbow or, or its people. According to our scouts, the general and his men made all haste for, for the gate of Yijmana upon finding it. Together with Thangrid, you and Mit and some few others have engaged them at the border. You are to return and assist you and Mit at once. They do not they are not set foot near the ruins or Fanal. We will see to matters here and return as quickly as we can. Understood? Yes, sister. Be careful. Though I knew time was short, I did not expect the Yomorans to move so swiftly. But we have come too far to turn back now. Time is against us, friend. Quickly, into the pyramid. Mushrooms. Here we 
The switch should be through the. The switch should be through these doors, but the confessional, to pass out, of the confessional to pass out the elder. But why is it not open? Magic appears to be flowing through the walls, but it's obstructed as, but it's being obstructed as as it approaches the door. Hmm. Is it not strange that only one of these petals pedestals bears an owl statue? Strange indeed. The, the second statue was likely hidden to keep the door sealed. Touch it, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> we can cover more ground if we split up. Ahmet, take the chamber to the south. Gaharu, the one to the east. I will search the chamber to the west. Now, I know how this is going to go, and I'm going to switch to a 90 class for this, just so I don't have to contend with the enemies. I have almost... I have two classes at 90, and then one class that is nearly at 90. Quick while they aren't watching. <laughs> yeah, um, those guys are why I switched to my one of my highest classes, because... Um, we're gonna have to carry something and I don't want to get spotted by those guys and have and have to redo everything because they started attacking me. There it is. Got you. I have looked everywhere and wait, is that? The statue! We found it! It looks like enough, but we, we need but return it to the other altar, no? One might assume so, but nothing about these ruins has ever been quite so simple. I sensed strange energy emanating from the eyes of the statues in the corridors of this place. Should this figure be moved, it would not surprise me for them to suddenly start a life. A trap, then, for the unsuspecting as they attempt to return this to its rightful place. Precisely. Caution would serve us well here. Which is why I would ask you to deliver the statue to the main chamber. An abundance of magic yet courses through these walls. For my eyes, distractingly so. I believe yours, on the other hand, would more than would more aptly perceive the traps for what they are. I got this, you're still up, don't worry. Alright then, we will meet you at the door to the confessional of Topos Tapasa and the Elder. Yep, yep. I know, I've done this before, game. Yeah, so now, again, this is part of the reason why I changed to a 90 class. I will not be attacked by the enemies. But if the owl statues should actually see me... Oh, goodness. Um, the statue I'm currently holding will teleport back to its pl to its place, so I have to be careful to not be spotted by any of the statues <laughs> as I carry this to the pedestal. Yeah, yeah, it, it can be rather annoying um, when you first try to do this and you don't realize that's what's going to happen. So I have to be, especially in this area, I have to be very careful. Here we go. Thankfully, I know what I'm doing, so. <laughs> you successfully delivered the statuette to the altar. The statue is returned, but was that enough? I believe it was. I can see Ether flowing to the door now. Oh, there we go. The power of having done this before, exactly. I pray this means an end to the tricks and traps of these ruins. 
Well done. And now I will swap back to Dark Knight. Go. You're but one step from entering the Quintana Revolve, but I must warn you, this last step is without question the most perilous. Overcome this final trial and the path forward will open to you. A path laden with more puzzles and traps, I'm sure. Did the Emperor always take such pleasure in wasting the time of his allies? <sighs> Let us end this, Kaharu, while time is yet on our side. The allies were wrong, it's all along. <laughs> Before we enter, I will tell you of the trial that awaits you. This cha the chamber is said to be filled with all manner of devices to keep trespassers away from the switch. The most potent being wars of displacement. They may very well force you into danger. Should we become separated, please use these. Whisper weeds. They will allow us to communicate no matter where we may find ourselves. I think Kahara and I can work out how to use these well enough. Thank you. Alright, Kaharu, the sooner we finish here, the sooner we can return to the others. Alright, instance time! Shall we get this over with? Let's get this over with! We must hurry before the Umoran soldiers gain any ground. Yep, let's go. Yeah, I see the sentinels. Ooh, yeah. We have we have to be sneaky sneak. Sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. slightly different. Sneak. Sneaky sneak. statues. Okay, let's interact with this. Hmm. Good question. Run, 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 run. Hey. This should end well. <laughs>
Just slide along the floor. That's how we get out. But there we go. And my sprint is just currently always activated. Running, running, running. There's another crevice. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. His chill is getting tired. <laughs> Alright, jumping! If I remember right. Oh, that's not good. It is indeed. Come on, let's go. All right, let's open and find out. Yep, there's Ranjit. Away with you! Be gone! This ends now! Here I come! No holding back! You need to do a lady of her, okay? Let's go. It's Stella. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. to be working. Yay! Good.
I think not. General, hold on. Huh? Oh, good job. Look at what you've done. Look at what you've done. Good job, now we're stuck. Expertly done. How was I to know that that would happen? It looked like any other part of the floor. Might now be an opportune time to strike a bargain? We poisoned a number of villagers in Slitherbow with a toxin brewed for us by the children. This is the antidote. I dare say you know how potent their concoctions are and the futility of trying to counteract their effects. Now, now. Try anything here, and we're all likely to fall. Eventually, someone will come to our rescue. Or yours. Promise us safe passage, and we'll give you the antidote. Do we have a deal? We do not negotiate with the enemy. The villagers' lives are forfeit, as is yours. Oh, that's just cruel. General? Do not fail. How noble and pointless. Is... is everyone all right? What in the... Yeah, we have a bit of a problem in Philia. Oriange! At once! Stola in the hole. Thankfully, Ranji's cohorts had the good sense to fall back. Ilumet should be here with word from Fennel. We should hold our position here until she arrives. Almet, please tell me you know if that hole might lead to the, into the woods somewhere. Were there another means of exiting the temple, there is no question that we would know of it. But I fear that is of little consequence, for we have tried to mark the depth of the pit, and failed. 
fall from such a height? Sister, I come bearing news. The Amorn soldiers and the children have fled Yishmija. They abandoned Slitherbow Bow as well, though they yet remain in the swamps near Lakeland. Unfortunately, a number of the blessed were poisoned while fending off the soldiers. One we believed to be of their order was found lost in Yishmija, feverish and badly wounded. He was taken to Fano for treatment, but I fear there is little we can do for him. He and the other blessed will not last long without an antidote. Then we must act quickly. If you've a spare vial, Mephilia and I can deliver it to the blessed at, Sl at Slitherbow. You and Arianche should return to Fano and tend to the wooden villager there. What about Yishtola? I know it seems callous of us to leave, but she left into that hole for a reason. We have the blessed, whatever it takes. We have to save the blessed, whatever it takes. All right. My sisters and I will remain here. We must be certain no soldiers are still working about. Come, Kaharu, let's not let not Yishtola's sacrifice be in vain. To Fano. It's just gonna put me right here. Okay, that's convenient. Where is he? Where is he? Down here. Brunar! No! Heavens for Fend. Brunar. But see, he forestalled the Oborn's procession, and in, do and in so doing, afforded the time to, tra to traverse the temple. Quickly, the antidote. Antidote! Antidote, 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 dote, dote! Ugh. Runar still appears visibly pained. Perhaps it requires another dose of medicine. Mezzan seems to be taking effect as color slowly creeps back into his cheeks. It would appear the worst hath passed, though his wounds yet want for mending. I shall administer to him forthwith. I'll take that silver piece, thank you. Rest, Kaharu, I prithee, I shall attend to Runor's menstru menstruations. Runa, thank goodness. We delivered the antidote to Slitherbow, and from what we could gather on the way here, the Ulmorans have had the good manners to withdraw. Thank the gods they did, or we would never have made it here in time. I'm told we have Runar and his comrades to thank for keeping the soldiers occupied prior to their retreat. They were preparing to come for you and Yishtola, it seems when Runar rallied the villagers and pursued them out of Slitherbow. Ix 
Mire in the care of the Vis. Thou art safe now, friend. Pray, rest thee a while longer. No. No, I am all right. Somewhat heavy of limb, perhaps, but otherwise well, I assure you. I am glad to see you are all safe. When we realized where the soldiers were headed, we knew something had to be done. Do not see Master Matoya. She was with you, yes? What happened to her? She saved the Knights Blessed, albeit at a cost. Spare me your riddles and speak plain. Where is Master Matoya? No. No. No, that cannot be. Why would she do such a thing? There no other way. I... I cannot believe that she... That she... We must begin the search immediately. I will come with you. Dude, you need to rest. What are you waiting for? We must find her. She could be trapped, or hurt, or... She is alive. She is alive, damn you. Forgive me for interrupting, but our scouts have apprehended an intruder. We thought perhaps he might be an associate of yours. Uh, hey, Emma, how you doing? <laughs> This is embarrassing. In my defense, they are surprisingly tenacious. <laughs> so, what trouble have you gotten yourselves into this time? Well, well. What an intriguing turn of events. My condolences, by the way. It is never easy to lose the ones we love. Well, she is dead, isn't she? Wishing it were otherwise will not make it so. That you should be indifferent to her loss is no surprise. But to us, she was a friend best of friends. <laughs> you have something on your mind. What is it? After she fell, there was a powerful gust of wind as if from nowhere.
pray recount to us again that which thou witnessed in the ruins, omitting not the slightest detail. Okay, how many times is Kahari gonna have to tell this story, guys? It's like every time she has to explain her tribe when I roleplay with her. Flow. What? The teleportation magic she used to spirit us away from Uldar after the bloody banquet. I recall a similar gale in the tunnel before it took effect. Interesting. I thought I sensed a brief disturbance in the live stream. How reassuring to know it was not my imagination. <laughs> I felt it only once, I should mention. Which would suggest she is still adrift on its currents. Then I fear she may yet be lost to us. For it was only by the grace of the elementals that she was plucked from that great ethereal river. Very well. I'll go and fetch her. Perhaps a clear and unambiguous act of kindness will serve to win the trust you seem so determined to deny me. Now then, if I'm to fetch her for you, I require a suitable place to work. We must find somewhere that resonates strongly with the life stream. And by we, I mean you. To that end, I give you this, an ethereal lamp of my own design. Keep it closed as you venture out into the woods. The brighter the glow, the stronger the location's resonance with the life stream. Once you've found a likely spot, all you need to do is whistle. You do know how to whistle, don't you, hero? Just put, per just put your lips together and blow. Alright, let's go you can rescue Stella from the live stream again. You still uh, stop falling into the live stream. Seriously, stop it. I believe it is somewhere along the path of blue flowers. No, I don't care, Stag. Go away. No, I, if I remember correctly, it's somewhere along this path. Oh! I found the correct spot! First try! Nice! I did it! well enough. Might I have a little space? I need to concentrate. her soul again? Ah, there you are. Yep. 
Ishtella, you need to stop going into the live stream and using flow. At least she wasn't in it for very long this time. He, he's done it. He's brought her back. <laughs> Ishtola, are you all right? imagine how what happened thou didst invoke the power of flow which thence did usher thy soul unto the life stream you need to stop doing that Yishtola I wanted to save the antidote and after that <laughs> I did something exceedingly reckless for which you will just have to forgive me Matoya, oh, thank the heavens, you're all right. I had nearly given up hope. <laughs> Please, Renard, dry your tears. What would the others think if they saw you like this? Come now. Did you really think I would go gently into that dark night with so much left undone? So many mysteries left unsolved. <laughs> Is there aught you wish to say to me? A word of thanks, perhaps? Oh, you're still here. Emmet Selk, the Asian of whom I spoke. Twas he who plucked thee from the live stream. I see. Thank you. Differences notwithstanding, you saved my life, and for that I am grateful. But let us turn our attention to more important matters. Such as the Katana Ravel. Yes. You had better not have explored its depths without me. We have not even begun, don't worry. <laughs> I wouldn't have known where to start. Well, Almut and the others should be pleased to see you in such uncharacteristically high spirits. <laughs> Let us return to Fanoff then, and discuss the coming expedition. that was a fair brought a tear to, to the eye but as we both know such tender moments are nothing if not momentary before long they will remember their many differences and return to squabbling says the arch bringer of chaos 
<laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, my dear. But seriously, we all seem to do what we do for the greater good, for the rejoining. Though we may sow the seeds of chaos, it is man who tends them, he who reaps the bountiful harvest. But I grow tired of these arguments. If you would kindly refrain from retorting and returning your, to your custom and return to your customary brooding silence, I will take it as thanks for rescuing your companion and leave it at that. Now, we mustn't keep your friends waiting. Apologies for having put you all through such an ordeal. I could see no other way to save the knights, blessed. Happily, they both yet they both they and I yet live, thanks to you. But our work here is not yet done. We must make ready to enter the Katana Revel and put the and put the light warden to the sword. <laughs> Let's go! Dungeon, 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 dungeon. With the Yomorans gone and your companion now returned, I think it best you you go now before they can the group. With magic flowing once more through the Great Pyramid of Elixir, the entrance to the Kitana Rabble should be now be open. Before we leave, Ariange, did you discover anything that might suggest the Light Warden hides elsewhere? Nay, though we had but little time before the Yomorans' most unwelcome arrival, we scoured the nearby er erosions and spoke once more with one, with the one called Coriel. Having hearkened to her tale, it is my judgment that the sin eater which her mother did espy was indeed the being to see, and, and that it is most likely resided in the vicinity of Rock Tika Falls. In the absence of any subsequent sightings, I give no reason to believe our quarry have sought out a new sanctuary. And given the considerable difficulty we face in, with, we face in reaching the falls, we may be certain that it hath not been disturbed by man. Then our, then our course is clear. We must investigate Katana Revol and make for Rock Tika Falls. Though you see it as but another obstacle to be na navigated, the Katana Rival is the oldest and most sacred of our temples. The accumulated knowledge of the Empire is said to reside within. Knowledge which is rightly ours knowledge which is which is rightly yours, Alice of Ronco. You are welcome to explore. I fully intend to survey el every elm of it. Once our mission is complete. Were the Emperor, Emperor still alive, he would be overjoyed to hear you say so. But I must warn you, though the way is open, it is still heavily guarded. To discourage trespassers and test the worth of our allies, it had to be so. Be careful in there. Don't worry, I got this. Head east and you will find the path of azure flowers leading to the, to the Revolve. I wish you safe passage through its halls. Nutkin. Where did that nutkin come from? <laughs> Master Matoya, I know I cannot dissuade you from going, so please, promise me you will return safely. The Knights Blessed need you. You need not worry, Lunar. I shall return and bring with me a long-awaited gift. One of the Knights Blessed will treasure now and forevermore. Now, let us away. And the Amaro Keep is apparently all the way over here. Why is it all the way over here? I don't know, but I'm going to activate it. <laughs> there we go. Why am I running? I haven't 
melt. I have many mounts, actually. Look at my mount. Look at my six-legged horse. Family just called flowers. I don't know why it's with with the with the V's here that if everything is just follow the flowers. Well, I suppose it could be worse. It could be follow the spiders. <laughs> follow the flowers is much more pleasant. Katana Rebel. Rebel. Let us get inside! You can feel the ether flowing through the door. A gentle push may be all that is required. Our earlier efforts were not in vain, it seems. Stay on your guard, Kaharu. We know not what awaits us inside. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Party in here. Sorry, thank Grid. I'm the tank. I'm the tank. <laughs> Yeet! And there's one more. Hey, 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 come Alright, 
Come here. I love you. Which one of you guys is this one? Not this one. I don't know where Minfilia went. Oh, there she is. There she is. Yeah, kind of smooshed. Smooshed with all the enemies. Um, let's see this one next. I don't know why they don't try to avoid that, but no, I'm not going to avoid it. I shall protect thee. This is going to leave a mark. I'm fine. Oh, I should. Be. I should. Be. Shall overcome this. Yes, we will, Ariel. Okay. Yes, we will. Teamwork takes the dream work. Yeah. 
fun with that. Interesting. Oh, I can't use that. Yeah, I'll give it to the Dawn and Enclave later. Come on! Acro <laughs> that is the stupidest pun. Acrobats. Acrobats, everybody. I don't know who decided to make this pun. And there you go, acrobats. Thank you. Yep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Nope, don't let the danger noodles touch me. Nope, no da bad danger noodles. Bad. You guys are going for the snake now, yeah, okay.
It's those are not iguanas. Ah, that's that's still useless. Which one are we attacking? This one. Got it. Remember these murals. We're going to get back to these later. But remember that they exist. Yep. Remember these murals, we are we are actually gonna get back to those not too long after we finish the dungeon. But for the time being. the tiny safe space. That was the tiny safe space.
thigh boots. the tank, not them.
Okay, Rand is the same fucking side. Another reprisal. Okay, that was my stupidity. <laughs> Thank you, Ariante, for saving me from my own stupidity. <laughs> Great to fall and use it. We're not using the we're not using the lure break apparently. Okay then. We're not we didn't use the lure break.
give to me the light. Give me the light, give it. Let me eat it. Thank you. This is mine. This is mine now. Look at that. The Light Warden is dead. The Blessed's prayers have been answered. Aye, that they have. Her condition yet troubleth thee? It does. Though she shows no immediate signs of corruption, the danger remains. She must be told. Would you describe it to me, Marie Angers? Paint for me a picture with your words. A sea of shimmering stars. Diamonds strewn across a raven gown. Boundless and beautiful. It is an exquisite sight, not unlike that of the source. Calm and gentle and forgiving. I can see it. For however deep the void, or wide the expanse, there is no shore so distant as to be beyond the reach of light. Ominous though that may sound, given our present travails. <laughs> Well fought. Let us return home. Yes, please. The murals. If I am not mistaken, they predate the Empire. How can you tell? A peculiarity of the paint. Most are made from mineral-based pigments. But whatever was used here is older than anything I have ever seen. According to Almut, this sanctuary was built to preserve the wisdom of the ancients. What events do these murals commemorate, I wonder? Good question, and we're about to get an answer. Must you always linger after defeating your enemies? Navigating these halls on foot is exhausting. Come to lead us to safety, have you? <laughs> I was bored. But how is the hero of the hour? You were, of course you were. Fighting fit, I see. Keep up the good work. You're plotting something. Every hour of every day. But never you mind about that. As I have told you a thousand times before, I like to watch. Nothing more. Well, I would quit this place and I suggest you do the same. There is yet work to be done. Indeed. Ah, oh, there is a sight to bring a tear to the eye. You recognize these scenes? That I do. 
Indeed, there was a time when anyone and everyone would. Until one calamitous day when the world was divided across ten and three reflections, sundering the land and all who dwelled upon it. And the worst part? No one could remember it. Not really. Just fragments and fleeting memories of an achingly familiar world. A vision shared of a paradise lost, preserved only in song and scripture and pain. Once upon a time. Yet here we find ourselves again, to look, learn, and remember. Then share with us the stories you know so well. We are listening. Before the Great Sundering, there was one world. A world that knew naught but peace and prosperity. Until it was faced with a crisis. Unprecedented. Terrifying. Civilization found itself perched upon a precipice, staring into oblivion. But through prayer and sacrifice, the will of the star was made manifest. Zodiac was his name, and by his grace was the calamity averted. Zodiac. A savior mighty and magnificent, deserving of reverence and gratitude. One would have thought, yet some thought otherwise. From the fears of these naysayers would rise Hydalin, she who was to serve as his shackles, to bind him and hold him in check. And so they fought, and they fought, and they fought, and in the end, Hydalin was victorious. With all her strength, she smote him dealing a blow so devastating that it split the very fabric of reality. And thus was Zodiac banished and his being divided. That concludes today's lesson on long-forgotten history. Though I imagine your mother would offer a rather contradictory account, as is her woe. Sorry, I can only assume I misheard. But it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But... What? Not gods of the first? Is that what you thought these paintings depicted? Or... Oh... Oh... <laughs> They are gods after a fashion, yes. But no different from the kind with which you are so intimately acquainted. Formed of faith and prayer, of conviction and devotion. The eldest and most powerful of primals. Yep, you have spun quite a tale. Yet you have not explained the role of the Asians in all of this. How is it you are privy to ancient secrets lost to time? <laughs> finally, finally you ask the right question. And shrewd questions warrant honest answers. We Asians know because it is our history, our story. It was we who summoned Zodiac, we natives of that sundered paradise. Now, 
Do you see why we yearn for the great rejoining? For our world. For our people. For all creation to be made whole again. Wouldn't you wish for the same? So, Hylinar and Zodiac are the oldest of the primals. And we are finally, finally learning a little bit about the old world and the ancients. Oh, I love this story so much. That was an enlightening experience, though not in the way I had hoped. Do you suppose there's any truth in Emmett Selk's claims? Though recent events plainly warrant for the discussion, I think it best that we wait until Alphino and the others are present. Emmett Selk included, How convenient that he should choose this moment to keep to the shadows. Well, no matter. For the present, we should return to Fano and make certain of the Yomorians with withdrawal. After that, Slitherbow. Slitherbow. The blessed are no doubt elated by what has become of the, by what has become of the sky. Okay, we can just teleport yeet. You are returned, and unharmed, I see. Indeed, I am pleased to report that the Light Warden is no more, thanks in large part to you. And the death of that single eater should that the death of that single eater should make such a difference. As our numbers waned, so too did our hope that the ruins we have devoted our lives to guarding would ever find purpose. Yet here you are, the allies for whom we have waited these many centuries. And with your arrival came the chance to pass our, on our legacy, the agent wisdom of the Empire. That alone has should, that alone would have been reward enough. Never did we imagine it would serve to banish the light that pervaded these word these woods. Um, on behalf of the V's, our forebears, and the late Emperor of Ronka, you have our deepest thanks. It is we who should be thanking you. Our journey to, through the Quintana Reval proved most enlightening. To be privy to such knowledge is an honor, one for which we never hoped. Please, you need not be so humble. We but do our duty as decreed by the late Emperor. Would that he were still here with us to express his gratitude in person. But sister, does this not mean our duty is fulfilled? To our allies, perhaps, but the ruins cannot be left unguarded. So long as we live here in these woods, the secrets of Ronka must not fall into the wrong hands. Is Rune Oster here, still here? No, we escorted him back to Slitherbow shortly after, after you set out. If you return to the Knights Blessed, we will not keep you any longer. I suspect they would be glad of your company. Thank you, Almet. I look forward to a day when we might share a more leisurely vis visit to the ruins of Ronka. We will await your return then. And teleport back to the bow. Bow. To the bow. Ah, 
You are returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. Yep. You needn't worry about us. What became of the Yamoran soldiers, more importantly? Good question. They turned tail and fled at the sight of the night sky. Yay! The yeah. children of the everlasting dark have also retreated back to Woven Oath. Good. Try as they might, they could not deny the truth of their own eyes. The sunless sea of heaven, full of love and grace, where none need no pain or suffering. In that moment, when the sky's light began to wane, I knew our prayers had been answered. That we were doomed to face oblivion at life's end no longer. When first we met, I harbored certain suspicions about you. Now I see that I was right. You are the bringers of shadow. The warriors of darkness. The saviors for whom we have prayed for so long. <laughs> I suppose you're not entirely wrong. But we are not worthy of your reverence, nor have we any desire to be worshipped. If you would pray, pray for your children, that they may one day know a better world. I will do as you say, but please, let us at least hold a feast to celebrate your victory. You deserve that much. No. I'm sorry, Runa, but there is still much to be done and scant time in which to do it. We must go. All of us. For we share the same path and the same fate. So be it. I ask only that you hold us in your hearts, as we would hold you in ours. Now, and ever after, by the boundless dark, this I swear. Though it pains me to leave, it is time I return with you and the others to the Crystarium. But before we go, might I speak with you in private? I will await you in my chambers. Thank you for coming. I thought to keep my suspicions to myself, but after witnessing your victory, victory at Rahtika Falls, I fear they prove true, and so I must share, share them with you. From the first when we met at Fort Gone, Yiga has appeared tainted, suffused, suffused with an overabundance of light not unlike the Sin Eaters. When you defeated the Light Warden, I fear the light which poured forth was not for, which poured forth from it was not negated by Heidelin's blessing, rather it was absorbed into your being. Orianje also suspects as much, though he is unwilling to share his thoughts on the matter. One thing is certain, with every warden you defeat, the danger to you grows greater. Greater perhaps than we can imagine. If you begin to feel any strain, anything strange, anything at all, pray, inform me at once. You should hurry, before the others begin to worry. Once I have sorted my things, once I have sorted my things here, I will join you. Yeah, so... All of that light that we've kind of been collecting, yeah, it's not good for us. Prepare your face, thank you. And I will equip this, thank you. But for the time being, let's do, let's go into more casual clothing because we're going back to the Crystarium. Let's 
look, it is night. We have returned night to Raktika. Yes! We took one last patrol of the perimeter. All things considered, Slitherbow remains relatively unscathed. Thanks to the antidote, all those who are poisoned will make a full recovery. And with the night sky returned, their prayers have at last been answered. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Shall we be off then? Art thou certain this is best? I'll not deny that there's a part of me that wishes I could stay. For two years I have lived among the blessed, learn learned their culture, even going as far as to adopt an estimate where his name is my own. I bought prey I did it I did honor to it. Now is not the time for a doubt or hesitation. Come, we must return to the Crystarium. All things considered, it is hardly surprising that Alphano and Elise have yet to arrive, but where is the Exarch? My friends, tis good to see you all again. Alphano, it has been too long. I assume your presence here means you, you've brought word of the Warden hiding in Raktika. Found and slain, you say? I should have known. Yumor has but recently dispatched soldiers to all corners of Norvarant to defend them. I'm glad to see their efforts were wasted on the Greatwood. Speaking of Yomor, what came of your meeting with Valthry? Yes, about that. It proved to be... Ugh. Exarch, you mustn't push yourself. Your time away from the tower has clearly taken its toll. No doubt you're all tired as well, having traveled so far. Why don't we all take a much needed rest before before we discuss our findings? I thought to, to propose the very same. After your clash with the warden, you deserve a chance to recuperate. It's all then. We can reconvene after everyone has had time to settle in. Sprint is done. I guess. <laughs> Welcome back, miss. Return from a lengthy, lengthy excursion, I take it. Well, your room has been made ready, if you care to retire. Yes, please. Yay! Thank you. Do, 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 do. So there's a light sealed inside you, is there? You wouldn't know it from the outside. You look the same as you ever did to me. I must stay the course for the others. Ah, 
True enough. Packing up and going home isn't really an option, is it? If you don't face the music here, it'll only come and find you there. Think he was telling the truth? Emmett, I mean. All that rot about Heidlin being no different from any other primal. If so, what would that make her blessing? Good question. Are we just slaves to her will? Also a good question. Ah, let's pay him no mind. Lies the Asian stock in trade. Villains, heroes, all a matter of perspective, they'd have you believe. One man's fond memory, another's waking nightmare. Me, I'm no saint or savior. Just another sinner. And I know damn well I'm in no position to judge. When I saw the people of Slitherbow look up at the sky and celebrate the return of the dark, I felt good. It was moments like that that I cherished. Much more than the thrill of adventure. The quiet after the storm. Aww. I always took comfort in that. Aww. Dark bird. Meanwhile, in Grindelwald. What did the scouts have to report? Several skirmishes, but nothing of consequence. The fighting seems to have taken its toll on both sides. A stalemate, then. The Alliance has done well to hold the line for so long. Indeed. <laughs> but then they did have Ishgardian reinforcements. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, neither side has any appetite for a prolonged engagement. Is but the calm before the storm. And should the Empire choose to bring their full might to bear? To say nothing of Black Rose. All the more reason to hasten our search. How close are your people to identifying our next target? Close enough, though I have received some troubling intelligence. One of our generals posted to the Alamegan front recently disappeared without trace from the battlefield at Gimlet Dark. Odd. Mm -hmm. Dead seems unlikely. Fled less so. I wonder where he'll turn up. How curious. Were I a betting man, I would say here, in the capital. Not that any deserter who valued his life would contemplate returning, but a corpse might. Given the right encouragement. In the manner of his royal remains, you mean? Elidibus plainly has no need of a new host. So the question becomes who? It may be that another player has joined the game. Something to consider at any rate. But come, there is work to be done. These bloodless games make for poor sport. May happy father. Nay. No. I am a stranger to him in this body. Besides, there is but one hand that can make me whole again. My enemy. My friend. I know not what entertainment occupies you, but if you will not clear the way for me, 
that I shall seize the reins of fate once more. I think we all know who that who that is by now. Yeah. Yep. I think we all know by now. There's something going on. But we will figure out what that is next week. I've been streaming for four and a half hours and I need I need I need a break. So yeah, next time we will figure out what the hell is currently happening in, in uh, the Crystaria. Cause as you can tell from the music, it's not good. It's not something good. <laughs> But until then, thank you for everyone who joined me today, thank you for those who are chatting with me today, and thank you to everyone who watches the video afterward. I will see you in the next stream. Bye!